A thermosetting resin, also known as a thermoset, is petrochemical material that irreversibly cures. The cure may be induced by heat, generally above 200 AA degrees Celsius, through a chemical reaction, or suitable irradiation. Thermoset materials are usually liquid or malleable prior to curing and designed to be molded into their final form, or used as adhesives. Others are solids like that of the molding compound used in semiconductors and integrated circuits. Once hardened a thermoset resin cannot be reheated and melted to be shaped differently. Thermosetting resin may be contrasted with thermoplastic polymers which are commonly produced in pellets and shaped into their final product form by melting and pressing or injection molding. Definition IUPAC defines a thermosetting resin as a petrochemical in a soft solid or viscous state that changes irreversibly into an infusible, insoluble polymer network by curing. Curing can be induced by the action of heat or suitable radiation, or both. A cured thermosetting resin is called a thermoset. Process The curing process transforms the resin into a plastic or rubber by a cross-linking process. Energy and or catalysts are added that cause the molecular chains to react at chemically active sites, linking into a rigid, 3D structure. The cross-linking process forms a molecule with a larger molecular weight, resulting in a material with a higher melting point. During the reaction, the molecular weight has increased to a point so that the melting point is higher than the surrounding ambient temperature, the material forms into a solid material. Uncontrolled reheating of the material results in reaching the decomposition temperature before the melting point is obtained. Therefore, a thermoset material cannot be melted and reshaped after it is cured. This implies that thermosets cannot be recycled, except as filler material. Properties Thermoset materials are generally stronger than thermoplastic materials due to this three-dimensional network of bonds and are also better suited to high temperature applications up to the decomposition temperature. However, they are more brittle. Since their shape is permanent, they tend not to be recyclable as a source for newly made plastic. Examples, polyester fiberglass systems, sheet molding compounds and bulk molding compounds, polyurethanes, insulating foams, mattresses, coatings, adhesives, car parts, print rollers, shoe soles, flooring, synthetic fibers, etc. Polyurethane polymers are formed by combining 2B or higher functional monomers oligomers. Vulcanized rubber, bakelite, a phenol formaldehyde resin used in electrical insulators and plasticware, deroplast, light but strong material, similar to bakelite used for making car parts, urea formaldehyde foam used in plywood, particle board and medium density fiber board, Melamine resin used on worktop surfaces, dial phthalate used in high temperature and mill spec electrical connectors and other components. Usually glass filled. Epoxy resin used as the matrix component in many fiber reinforced plastics such as glass reinforced plastic and graphite reinforced plastic, polyamides used in printed circuit boards and in body parts of modern aircraft, cyanate esters or polyshiongurates for electronics applications with need for dielectric properties and high glass temperature requirements in composites, mold or mold runners, polyester resins. Some methods of molding thermosets are, reactive injection molding, extrusion molding, compression molding, spin casting, see also, vulcanization, fusion bonded epoxy coating, references.